Hey guys, Josh here with PTL Hardwood Floors at Ugo Floor Products. Going to show you how to adjust your edger today. So we have the American Sanders Super 7, most popular edger around. So first we're going to check to see how the wheels sit, how it's cutting. Simple enough, just put a piece of paper on there, touch it down, see what it's doing. So if you look, you can see how it's cut there. We're a little off of noon, noon 30, and we're back a little bit. So we want to put this cut about right there. We want to move this over to here. Can you picture that? So to do that, you go to the back of the edger, and you loosen up the lock nuts on here on both sides. Some channel locks. That one needs to be cleaned up. <laughs> it's not my edger either. Just a little FYI. So after you loosen those up, you get yourself about three pennies is a good place to start. And if you go to the back of the edger, I'll move that out of the way. That's how you want to start there. So you want to raise that up so it's three pennies high. So we just turn that. So it's equal. If you can see that there, three pennies high right there. And then lock it down. And test it again and see how it cuts. So you see we gotta move it over here. So you loosen up the right side and turn it a little bit and see how it cuts. See, we're about noon. We want to go about 11, 12, 11.30 or so. So we want to turn it clockwise a few more times. This is the right side of it. So it's about 11.45, I'd say, almost noon. Um, you can go a little bit more, it all depends on how you like your cut to be. So if you want to go a little more loving, just cut more turns to the right. That's how some guys like it, some guys like it at 12. There you go. And you see it's right up at the edge. But about the size of a quarter is what size you want that to be. So if you get it too low, this will be a little bigger. If you get too high, this will be shorter, smaller of a cut. It'll be way aggressive. This is what American Sanders likes to see. That's what we set it at. So once that's set, just lock down your lock nuts with a channel lock so it doesn't go anywhere on you. And so it's a good idea to periodically check that again just to make sure it's cutting right, it hasn't get off. If it gets off, do the same thing. It's kind of twisted, it's not a big deal. Easy enough to change. All right, now let's, I'll show you guys. This is a new pad we put on here as well that needs to be addressed. Every time you put in a new uh, pad, that's a rubber pad on the edge, you have to address it. And you do that by sanding it. And we'll show that shortly. Thanks, have a great day.